Before we get started, we want to take this time to thank our great friends over at Telehell, TV Guidance Counselor. It was a thing on TV, host at home, and other great podcasts that we that we can check out. And also you can visit us on YouTube. Look for Retro Circ. That's R-E-T-R-O-C-I-R-Q. We post up great commercials and skits twice weekly, produced by our friends at Yardline Studios. Thank you for listening and enjoy the show. Hey everybody. Hi, I'm the hi, I'm the content creator here at Retro Cirque. My name is Yarnell, and for today we're gonna to be giving you a brief look at how we managed to make these crazy videos you see on our YouTube page. Um, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I mean, after all, this is kind of like our very first show in a long time. And I hope you guys tune in, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because we're about to do something really, really good. So stay with us as we pull the announcement. From Yardline Studios, in association with Retro Cirque, this is Under the Cirque, a podcast that looks behind the scenes at the shows that you see on our YouTube page. Brought to you in part by Retro Cirque, the main attraction. And now, here's Yarnell. And thank you so very much. Well, as you heard from the opening sequence, this is a brand new podcast that we're going to be doing a bit of a behind-the-scenes look at how we make our videos here on Retro Cirque. Um, as you just heard right now, I'm Yarnell, the podcasting... Um, okay, I'm the content creator. Okay, just for the sake of everything... I'm the guy that's responsible. You may, um, many of you may have known me for all the crazy stuff I did on the YouTube page and stuff like that. I produced a lot of. I mean, we, we. I mean, let's just say I've done a lot of things. You know, um, you know, uh, create videos, produce shorts, and stuff like that. But you know, last time I was here, I wanted to make a podcast. I, I did a podcast called Breaking the Box or whatever or, or, or whatever the podcast was. It, it, it had no it really had no vision or or concept or anything. It was just, you know, just for the fun of it. And it only lasted seven episodes. That is, of course, COVID happened, uh, tensions happened, a lot of things happened. So for anyone who who listened to that those podcasts, who listened to that podcast, I just want to say thank you for listening to it. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys uh, appreciate the the idea of creating um, original of seeing the thoughts on what I had to say about the unfortunate realities that we're living in. So I want to say thank you for that in that particular sense. Um, but let's get back on track here. So. Many of you are probably wondering, what is Retro Cirque about, if you know what I mean? Well, long story short, I've been on YouTube for 15 years. 15, this year will go on 16 years. And I have been a tape collector. You know, I've loved vintage nostalgia like many people. Um, vintage commercials from my childhood, which is pretty much people like myself who grew up with... 80s and 90s television, um, particularly from the 80s through the 2000s and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to get more in, a, a little bit more into it, to it in a moment, but first I want to send a few shout outs. So the first shout out obviously has to go to our friends at Telehell. <clears throat> Telehell is a podcast that looks at bad, if not awful, television over the past seven decades of the medium whether it's looking at expensive disasters like Super Train or even looking at one-off specials that would be forever ingrained in people's mind. Remember, if it's not in Telehell, it's not worth a damn. Available on any podcasting or streaming service. Click below or follow the link on the site of the stream. Once again, we'd like to thank Telehell for supporting RetroCirc. That's number one. Another plug is Host at Home. Are you a true game show fan and you want to see your favorite host outside the podium? Well, we want to send a shout out to Host at Home. Host at Home is a YouTube channel devoted to interviews with game show hosts, past and present, and some rare pilots from game shows from Adam's archives. So check out Host at Home on YouTube. Link is in the description. And it was a thing on TV. What do you get when you cross MSG3K with the history of obscure, albeit not so memorable, television? You get it was a thing on TV. 
and we'd like to say a shout out to Mike, Chico, and Greg. This show looks at television, strange television if you ask me, and they give their thoughts on it. Plus they go through episode guides and a whole lot more. Link is in the description and tell them that Retro Cirque sent you there. So, those are our three shout-outs. We're not paid to say it, but nonetheless, we want you guys to check them out as much as you check out our show as well. So, let's get back on track over here. So, yes. We, so, here's the thing. Let me just give you a little backstory on how this channel, uh, channel uh, Retro Cirque, evolved over the last five to ten years. We started out well, we started out as Retro Nausea TV. And even before then, we started out as Retro Surfer News. But that's that's neither here nor there. So let's just start with the channel you're watching. Um, we started out as Video Surfer YNX or something like that, which later evolved into Ret2, then Retro Nausea 2, then it became a spokesmodel channel. Then at one point, we even became RET Worldwide. Check out the jingle right now. From game shows to YTPs, from the spokes models to classic hits from TV. We've been around for a long, long time and we've never stopped. This is the place, this is RET Worldwide. That's what, that was us. But what happened was, is that when we were that channel, I mean, yeah, let me tell you, we spent, I have to say, I spent like a good amount of money buying those jingles from iJingles. We also want to send a shout out to them because now they have a new ownership, um, even though it's still TM Studios, but, we, but we're looking to bring back more jingles for our channel. That's another story. But going back on track over here, um, we decided to change the name because it didn't make any sense anymore to use RET Worldwide. Um, and so, a couple of years ago, we became REW, and around last, around two years ago, which is 2020, and we decided to adopt the new campaign because um, around that time between 2017 and 2021, I decided to experiment with putting original programming on it, original content, you know, because again, Riding high from making a short film, I decided, you know what, let me give myself a carte blanche to produce content. So we did star, so we did a short, so after we did, did a short called Tears of Joy, we did more mime themed related content. First with a faith based web series called Starlene, then we did a, another series called Starstruck GC. And, you know, we had an actress who was on it, and then, but then we, rebooted basically the 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 reboot we rebooted it for the sake of everything it was rebooted and once it was rebooted um we decided to bring the actress who played gc back as sort of in character as the gc character as sort of the brand ambassador of the channel and we were going to it and we adopted a brand new campaign called breaking the box because you know mimes boxes tv i mean it's kind of something going on you know what I mean but of course it was 2020 and you know what happened um the pandemic happened and everything just it, the dominoes fell you know what I'm saying the dominoes fell so I can't really so let, let's just you know you know things happen you know 20 2020 was a real crazy year to say the least so we kind of scrapped that in in some cases though but then around late 2020, early 2021, um, you know, because last year marked 15 years on YouTube and because we added more mime characters and especially with Jackie D, uh, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll definitely, Lord willing, we'll definitely talk more about Jackie, we'll definitely explain more about who Jackie D is and why we created those characters and stuff like that, but um but but in the end, it only made sense for the channel to change its name, you know? So we couldn't just call ourselves R-E-W or R-E-T or something like that anymore because it didn't make any sense. So 
at that time, we were doing a lot of these commercials, posting up vintage commercials, uh, YouTube poops, which I had long since retired from, and everything. It only made sense for us to just rebrand the channel to fit everything. I mean, we post up commercials, and we have a lot of circus acts. So it only made sense to put in the two and two together. So it was Retro Cirque. So that's how the Retro Cirque name was born. And yes, we kind of took it from Cirque du Soleil, but we just dropped the UE so to avoid, for, for legal reasons, we don't want to use the C-I-R-Q-U-E name because Cirque du Soleil and stuff like that. So we just dropped the UE and just kept the C-I-R-Q name. And a few months later, um, we decided to turn it into, we decided to turn our channel into an LLC, given the fact that, you know, now that I'm having a day job and stuff like that, it'll be, it's a great way to, not only having a day job, but a way to have enough income to fund these type of projects. So that's pretty much the, the, the gist of it. Um, and, 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 and to be quite honest, though, this whole thing about creating content is something I love to do. And I love making stuff like this because it's, it, it gives us a joy. So what, so what is the whole purpose of Behind the Cirque? Well, Behind the Cirque is a, is a series that gives you a, a behind-the-scenes look at how we make these type of videos or how we make these type of content over here. Um, it's audio, but maybe down the road we'll probably interview some of the people who you've seen on our channel and give them their thoughts on how they develop the characters or build everything in that sense, though. Um, so, so let's just, let me just take for a moment, and I know it's, a, it's, I know it's really short, so normally a podcast would be like, what, 30 minutes or something like that? I mean... I know a lot of you listen to different podcasts and stuff like that, but as the time grows, we'll try to brush up and polish the format so this way you guys can enjoy the, the show as well. Anyway, I know it's short, so I just want to say thank you so very much for listening to this podcast. I want to take you, I want to thank everybody. Um, the show has been executive produced by Vincent Francois Avador or Vincent A. Francois, or something like that. And the music is by the uh, Retro Cirque Sound Machine. I'm Yarno. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you make it a good one.